and then you've got your four pieces at the very beginning here. Uh, the about is about who developed it, the ideas, the universities, um, disclaimers, as well as the uh, citation of the original work that this was developed from. And then we have the visualization so that you kind of have an idea of how to estimate the number of aphids you have. You just take your finger on the screen and drag it across and slowly the number will increase on that leaf through a set number so you have an idea how many are there. So it's just a way to visualize how many aphids you may have on a leaf and it's not unusual to have a hundred. And then you have your data history so you can keep track of what you found and then you have your actual data entry. You can name your field, and that's always best to name your field, so when it's in the data history, you can actually follow it through, unless you have a really good working memory as far as the date and the time that you scouted. And then you can put your size of the field in, especially that might be more important for a crop scout, because a farmer's gonna know how big his field is. And you just hit go, and this is your data entry field. There's a directions button up here. So it walks you through, you find your first plant at random, you gotta go at least 30 feet or 30 rows into the field, so you're staying away from the edges. Edges tend to throw things off when you're trying to figure out what's going on in the field. You select your first plant and then you count the number of aphids. And these gray buttons start gray so you can keep track of where you're at. The first time you tap one, it'll turn green. Green is a non-infested plant, so green is good. And then if you tap it twice, this is hard upside down. There we go, it turns red. And you kind of can equate red with bad. And this way you can keep track of how many you've sampled as you go along. So it tallies how many infested plants you have and then it gives you a result. In this case, where I'm at right now, it's got sample five more plants. So then you hit the show next five button and then you just keep repeating until it either gives you the uh, sample again in seven to 10 days or the treat. Let's go with that. So if it has resample in seven to 10 days like I've got it now, you can start by adding it to history so you know where you're at and then you can set a reminder on your calendar so that it reminds you when you need to go back out and sample again.